with 10 tonight. It's a battle between Memphis and Nashville over gun rights as Memphis leaders try to get a grasp of violence in this city. Following a city council referendum to add gun reform measures to the November ballot, Republican state lawmakers are firing back, threatening to withhold sales tax revenue from the city. Our WREG's Ashley Paul has been following this story. She joins us now live tonight with details. Hi, Ashley. Hey, Steph. Well, some Democrats are accusing Republicans of abusing their power. But at the end of the day, Memphis leaders are sticking to their guns in a push to keep the city safer. This is absolutely a power play. It has nothing to do with what's in our best interest. Democratic Representative Justin Pearson responding tonight to a notice from Nashville that threatens to withhold shared sales tax to local governments that challenge state law. We do not have to live this way, and we need people to get out of our way to let us get to fault finding the solutions and implementing them. Last month, the Memphis City Council approved a referendum to allow gun reform measures on the November election ballot, such as banning the sale of assault rifles and requiring permits for anyone carrying a gun. City Council member Dr. Jeff Warren says it's part of an effort to combat crime in the city. It's a, a way for citizens to say what they need. Uh, then I hope our state legislator will look at it and say, oh, OK, well, let's see what we can do to help them down in Memphis. But earlier today, Tennessee House Speaker Cameron Sexton and Lieutenant Governor Randy McNally announced they will not tolerate any attempts for local municipalities to override state laws. Sexton adding in a statement, quote, with the recent actions of the progressive soft on crime DA in Shelby County and the Memphis City Council's continued efforts to override state law with local measures, we feel it has become necessary to take action. But Dr. Warren says the state is misunderstanding the most Motive behind the referendum. This is not a political gambit to try to make our state legislators look bad. It's a way to help them help us uh, lower our crime rate, and hopefully they'll see it that way. But Secretary of State Trey Hargett said in a letter today to the Shelby County Election Commission he will not allow a ballot question that defies state law. So where things go from here remains unclear. This is not a problem that is Democratic or Republican. This is not a problem that's rural versus urban. This is a problem for our state. Now, Representative Pearson says he urges the Memphis City Council to sue the state if their referendums are rejected from the ballot. For your news leader downtown, I'm Ashley Paul, WREG News Channel 3. All right. Thank you, Ashley.